So I was thinking, why the hell am I going to wait to give you guys a house tour when I can give you one right now? So what if it ain't finished? I'm going to show you where we're at. Come on. So to start this off, this is our two-car garage, which actually it's not really two cars because only one of our cars fits in here, which is weird because we both have like compact cars. But anyway, there's an indentation here from the guest closet and one of us has to get a smaller car now because we have to like park on the street and it is no fun. So there's a little electric charger for a Tesla or I guess any other electric car that you have. Um, Anthony actually wants to get one of those soon. Um, he's pretty big on electric cars, but personally, I don't really give a shit. I probably should, because it's good for the environment or whatever, but I don't know. This is a closet with storage. Um, now we're going to walk over to the, just an entrance, the garage entrance, which leads us to the foyer. Is that how you say it? I really don't know. Foyer? The foyer? I hate that word. We have a little thing with keys go. We have uh, my surfboard in there. Don't mind that. I'm going to move it. It's just there temporarily. I literally don't know where else to put it. I don't want to put it in the garage, okay? I'm not. Not right now, at least. And over here, we have the guest bedroom, which is super tiny, I know, but we were going to make this the studio, but then we realized that whenever guests come, they have their own little like quarters, pretty much, where they could stay and not worry about disturbing anyone or being disturbed because they have this whole first little floor to themselves. They have the bathroom right here, a nice little shower. We actually just had my friends and family stay with us. My family stayed first for like a week and then my friends came for like another week and it was super fun. But now that they're gone, I'm looking forward to getting my life back on track because they left and I was like, what the hell am I to do with myself now? So let's go upstairs. It's really cool that the lights actually came labeled. So the previous owner labeled them all because there's a lot of them. And I love this little accent on the side of the stairs of the little mood lighting. Really nice. I want to get that installed on all the stairs in the house, but for now it's going to it's just that. So there I am again having to look in the mirror, of course. Um there's some artwork from the last apartment that I made. A toilet seat. I really like the walls in here. They're pretty cool. I kind of wish they were all around, but, you know, <laughs> first world problems, right? All the lights are automatic, which is pretty cool, but it's annoying. We have to keep the door shut because even if we walk past the bathroom, the lights will turn on, and it's kind of scary. And here we are to the main living quarters. This is our kitchen, our bar cart, piece of art that I framed from the flea market, our new couch and rug. Don't mind the coffee table. Um, more lights. I'm going to turn on under the counter. That's really comes in handy at night when you want to cut something. I'm prone to cutting my fingers off, so super good safety measure. Um, I like how big the island is. It's really cool. I put some lights at the bottom of the mirror, the curtains. Okay, we'll get there. Here's just a little shelf. I filled with some stuff from our old apartment. Just, it's pretty much just filler stuff for now. It's gonna change. I really like the cabinets. They're very sleek, modern. I like how they open. To be honest, I never really thought that I would want to live in a contemporary modern place. This is kind of more of Anthony's style. I like more of, uh, you know, I like a place with character, not so boxy, but I did realize that I could make it cozy. You know, it doesn't have to be cold. So I looked up and I found out there's something called modern organic, which pretty much means that you bring in elements of nature, neutral tones, earthy tones, and it kind of just makes you want to just sit down, relax, and watch a movie. The bar cart, coffee table, and the console table under the TV will be changing, so do not mind those. They're hideous. Um, there's my cactus friend. There's some games we like to play for game night. Yahtzee, um, Rummy Cube, just to name a couple that we love. There's another little plant friend. Um, that's the bathroom. This is the primary bedroom. Little interesting layout, I know. 
it's uh we finally got a king bed though a king bed if you guys remember me and anthony slept in a twin bed for about five years in the beginning of our relationship and now we went to a queen after that when we got our first apartment and now we have a king so just super crazy to see that we can like really spread out now honestly though i kind of miss the twin bed i do i don't know why what am i doing um this is a shower fun little shower in the bathroom um we don't have a frame i don't know if you could tell we do not so right next to our bedroom is what would have been the guest bathroom which I think is kind of ridiculous and also another reason as to why we put the guest bedroom downstairs on the very first floor because who wants to listen to a guest doodling right next to the primary bedroom if they have to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night? No thanks. So here to the right we have our washer dryer, thank God, because we had to walk down like five flights of stairs in our last place to do our laundry and it was there were like roaches it was really not fun this is the studio where the magic happens we have nice closet space here all of my wigs and anthony's gear we have our old couch old desk from our old studio and that's all going to change but that's what it, that looks like right now i really like the glass in here too i think that's pretty cool now I'm just going to turn on the lights to go upstairs to the roof. Look at how tall this ceiling is, you guys. Like, what am I going to do on this wall? I feel like it's too big to even do anything. Like, I should just leave it blank, keep it minimal. Maybe put, like, a piece of art, like, right there when you go up the stairs. I don't know, but it's, it's a weird space. You'll see it on the way down again. Let us uh, go out here. It's dark and... It's pretty cold actually but it's pretty cool up here open the door Michael so here we go open the door and we have a little makeshift area right now just so we can like play cards and and Yahtzee next to the fire <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get turf all up there up here and we're gonna put you know a sectional a dining table and it's gonna be a little bit of a vibe I don't know if you guys saw it before, but there were... Actually, our last video was filmed right up there. There were rugs and there were plants. We got rid of all the plants up there, and it's pretty bare right now. But it'll come together pretty nice, so I'm excited about that. Look at this damn wall. So much white, but it's okay. I'm, like, not in a rush to do anything. That plant right there is enough for me. Anyway, I guess that's it now for the tour. I hope y'all enjoyed, and I hope y'all take care. I'm out.